Hey everybody, Ron here with Anthem Off-Road, and today I have my friend here, Alex from Fitman Industries. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex from Fitman Industries. I'm over on the Anthem Off-Road side of things. This is very exciting. You are, this is, this is an exciting time for us. Ron, I was wondering, how excited are you going to get in this episode since you have me here? You're gonna find out. I'm so excited. I wanna hear what your car background brings to our truck reviews. Truck reviews. Yeah, I, you know, I think I think it's actually gonna be pretty good because the good news is, is Anthem is a little bit more about like function, right? A little bit like off-roady style. So like that vibes with almost any car guy, I would have to say. So it'll yep. be pretty interesting to see what we pull out of the gallery today. Yep. Which is pretty cool. And with that being said, let's roll right into it. So our first vehicle today on series two of Rate Your Ride, we are looking at a 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It is on Anthem equalizers, 20 by 10 with a negative 24 offset, wrapped in Nittle Ridge grapplers, 33 by 12 and a half, using a Cognito leveling kit, which is cool because we don't see many Cognitos. Yeah, looks pretty, looks pretty gnarly. I do like the leveling kit. I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that bugs me right off the bat is that front bumper is gnarly. It is huge. And I don't think there'd be any problem with it if it flowed throughout the rest of the truck, maybe through like some steps on the side and then maybe something on the back. Um, but it does look a little bit front heavy on the truck itself. What I will say, it does look pretty good. I think the fitment is just about perfect. In terms of 20 by 10, negative 24, it pokes just a, just a little bit. I like the color. I think it looks good. You can never really go wrong with 20 by 10s in my book. I think that's about where my cap comes to. Um, but yeah, not too shabby. Just the front bumper is a little large. Believe it or not, I agree with you nearly 100%. Boom. The front bumper on this one, it's big. It's big and it's squared and it's painted to match. So he's taking the time to paint match this bumper. However, it is big. The, the stance is nice on a 20 by 10, nice, nice looking stance. Yeah, it definitely is like a truck that I could definitely see being, you know, a proper work truck. And I'm assuming that he has that on there so that he doesn't have to worry if he runs into something. But yeah, it would be cool to just see that follow through the side of the truck and then through maybe like an upgrade of your bumper in the same time. Yeah, you know, and he's running, he's running the square rigid lights up front as well. He also has a, a light bar up there. So definitely up for function. But again, it's just really big. You have a number? Yeah, I got a number. One, two, three, six. six. And a half. Can you do halves on here? Because I did a half. Introducing halvesies, baby. So it's a new now, episode. Now we're doing six and a half. So, all right. Oh, you could round up or round down, depending on how nice you're feeling that day. Should we go to the next one? Take it away. I'm not even here. All right. So here we go. This one is a 2001 Toyota Tundra. Nice. On Anthem Instigator 17 by nine with zero offset. Dozens. Niddle Trail Grapplers 33 by 12 and a half with an Icon suspension lift of three inches. So this is the older second generation body style of the Tundra. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty cool setup. Um, he's got the snorkel going for him. He's got graphics on the side. Definitely this is more uh, functional than anything else. Front bumpers, stock, stock rear. rear on chrome. So to me that takes a little bit off, but he does have somewhat of an overland setup. Looks like he has a canopy in the back. Mm -hmm. um, he's got some jerry cans in there, gas, uh, probably some tools set up in there with a, uh, with a roof rack as well. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I think the only thing I don't like is that obviously early Tundras definitely have aged a little bit harder than other trucks. And I think a lot of that just has to do with the soft headlights and then the soft grill in front. Um, I absolutely love the truck as a whole. And I love the fact that he's stuck with like a zero offset. They're 17 by nines, they're on 33s. So he's definitely getting a little bit more of a meaty setup. Definitely some really cool photos about it. The one thing that I'm, again, it, it is a little weird is having that stock rear bumper. Um, I probably just tear the whole thing clean off to be completely honest, especially considering when the front bumper is all beefed up and ready to rock and roll. I like the sticker on the front. It looks pretty good. Fitman looks pretty solid. I like the snorkel on the side or going up the top. 
Vinyl actually looks really well done, all things considered. But yeah, it definitely looks like he takes this bad boy pretty much everywhere, which is pretty cool to see, and I, I definitely run this. Yeah, color scheme is pretty cool, and the pre-runner setup to me always looks good, especially on a Yoda. Yeah. So, got a number? I do. One, two, three, seven. Hey, I didn't even do a half point that time. That's how confident I am in that one. And yeah, it's a fun truck. Why doesn't yours look good? It is. Mine is newer, and it's being worked on. Oh. Okay. One of those guys. Let's move into the next truck. Moving on. <laughs> 2016 Ram 1500 on Anthem Gunners, 20 by 10, negative 24, wrapped in general grabbers, 35 by 12 and a half, with a ready lift suspension lift of four inches. First cool. picture looks nice and clean. It's definitely a bigger setup. The 20 yeah. by 10 on a 35 versus a 33, so you're definitely getting a little a little big, sure. I would say. Four inch lift. I feel like he is definitely flexing in that. Yep. It's talked. Yep. You wanna go first? Can you take her away? Go ahead, I did it last time. All right, you all right. go. So one of the things that I have to say is I absolutely love uh, new Rams. Uh, it's just like a thing. I think that they like just nailed that look. The unfortunate thing is that Rams aren't really I don't know if I'm gonna make anybody upset, but like Rams don't seem to be the first, second, or even like third most popular anymore. I would say even like the Tundra is starting to attack the Ram 1500 space in terms of if you don't want to shove your report. So it is nice to see them come out of the woodwork and have some mods done to them. I always think that they look super sharp. I think the front end is just about as perfect as you can get from factory. Fitment's super well done. You know, the 35s, you start to get a little bit big. Um, I'm not sure if I see any steps. I don't know if maybe he has amp steps or something like that. But if he doesn't, that's a launch to get in there. It doesn't look like he does. He's got some spider tail lights, a carbon exhaust, upgraded uh, grill. Got some Bilstein shock upgrades in there, it looks like. But looking at the wheels, I do like the wheels. Um, I think the gunners are a nice touch on pretty much everything. I don't know too much about the grabbers, but I know ready lift suspension is, is pretty killer. Yep. Agree on a lot of that and being able to customize your gunners with those inserts, uh, really cool. Um, I like the stance. I love the look of the Ram, always have. I think it's a really cool looking truck. Um, overall, I like it. I, there's nothing, I don't, there's nothing that I don't like about it. I think overall it's just a nice clean looking truck. I think they just have like, I feel like they, Ram does a good job at keeping it like sporty too, yep. almost with the dual exit exhaust and like the bed is just cut off right away, short rear bumper. Yeah, the way they French in the yep. cuts for the exhaust and everything, yeah, it's I'm attention to detail it. on that. Yep. All right, you ready? Yep. Go ahead. One, two, three, Seven. eight. I can't, I can't beat the pre running yet. I'm sorry. Cool. Last one. That is my truck. That is the work truck that is the anthem truck ladies and gentlemen that is the truck that had anthems for us for the longest time that is the flagship truck i don't care what you say about this thing this thing's a champion let me start it off this is a 2005 chevy silverado 1500 on equalizers 18 by 9 plus 12. amp terrain attack ata 30560 on stock suspension because we did not want to put aftermarket suspension on it. So, <clears throat> Ryan, you go first, actually. I want to see what you think before I just go and give myself a good old tenor. All right. Yeah. We're stock. Yeah, look at that fitment. We're stock. We're stock. Look at that. But we're stock. However, you have a nice set of wheel and tires on there rounding out the look. I don't hate it. You shouldn't. It's worked for us. It has. You wanna rate it? All right, you, you do the thumb thumb. One, two, three, 15. zero. So we average at a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That, that my friends. That's a work truck right there. I'm not gonna say zero. That is a straight up six-ish. I'm good at six. All right, fine. Well, you can be at a six and I will bring my realistic score down to a 12. So there you go. 
you do that. So how how would other Anthem customers get and get like in this episode? What, what would what do they need to do? So check out our website at anthemwheels.com. Click on the gallery link. That'll take you to the gallery, and then you will also find a link to add your truck to the gallery. Sweet, awesome. And it's, as, and it's as simple as that. And if you want your truck featured, go ahead and do that, and we will be doing these regularly. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Plus, I think you guys shout them out on Instagram too. So. We do. Alex, hey. thanks for coming out. Hey, that's what I'm here for. It was a very exciting time. I can't wait to come back again. Revitalize some of this high energy video content. It's gonna be an exciting time. I'm so happy to be back. Can't wait to see you guys again. Can't wait to have you. We'll see you guys later. Until next time, Woo! see ya.